Well, with gaming month still happening, there's a lot to think about in discussion of a video. Do I want to talk about what I think is going to happen at SGF, or do I want to talk about my thoughts on like Frontiers, or maybe just talk about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 again? So many decisions, so little time. Oh, hold on! Something on YouTube popped up. It's a uh, Huh, a new Fire Emblem Warriors Free Hopes trailer. Okay, I thought they weren't going to do one until they save for Nintendo Direct, but hey, this might be interesting. Find the strength. Where did you get that power? To see your dreams realized. Let's do this, Wolves. What are you staring at? Come on, shady lady. Stop calling me that! You need me? You think you can take on Lester's king of grapplings? Let's get fired up, Happy! You always seem so at ease, V. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thank you. I had a good time today. Win. For a new Foldland. One that'll go down in the history books as the best ever. I will protect you all. You can win this fight. I know you can. Okay then. Looks like I'm covering Fire Emblem Warriors Free Hopes again. Hey everyone, what up? Mad Kaiser here, and welcome to another of my demo first impression series. Honestly that um, intro could have been done better but alas never mind. So anyway yeah Fire Emblem Warriors Free Hopes one of my most anticipated games of this year has got a demo and it just dropped and I played it. Okay well one round but yeah. So with Fire Emblem Warriors Free Hopes the demo will allow you to play through four chapters of each of the three routes that being for the Black Eagles uh, as well as the Blue Lions and Golden Deer and as such once that's done you can transfer your save data from it to the full game once it comes out which is pretty nice now for the sake of this uh, video I decided to give a taste of it by playing one route which was the Golden Deer so what happens in this game is that you play the role as Shez, the protagonist and first thing he actually talks yep Shez, whoever you pick whether it's male or female will actually talk doing cutscenes and dialogue options he's nowhere signed as Byleth was in Three Houses in fact Byleth actually even talks in this game as well and not just doing battle so yeah, basically your role as Shares is that he's a mercenary and he's basically battling out Gerald and Byleth, who Byleth is referred to as the Ashen Demon, which was a detail that Byleth was given in Three Houses, if you didn't notice. Of course that of course the battle doesn't go well as Shares is getting his ass kicked. And then he's saved by a mysterious deity known as Arvel. And basically she, I believe it's she, Arvel, basically serves as someone similar to Sophis. And she gives him a brand new power that drives off Byleth. It's until, of course, when Byleth meets the leaders of the three houses, Edelgard, Claude, and Dimitri. And they basically set out on a mission to take down the bandits led by Kostos and after that 
shares obviously becomes a student enrolled at the officers academy at Garrick Mark so yeah unlike free houses where Byler served as the instructor shares serves more as a student which is a pretty nice interesting thing so I think in terms of what this game is this game is nowhere near as a sequel to Fire Emblem Free Houses or even a remake of Fire Emblem Free Houses if I had to take a guess this is more of like an alternative take a spin off to Fire Emblem Free Houses where well, it takes some plot details from that game but it has its own different twist to make it not feel like the exact same thing from Free Houses which is very interesting as such with me playing as the Golden Deer uh, my runtime of this was about 4 hours, which was pretty substantial I think. I'm not sure if the other routes would be the same amount in the demo for the Golden Deer, but if it is, it might be nice. Anyway, so what do you do in this game? Well, if you play the Warriors game, in a Muso game, you will know that Warrior games are more focused on the action, real-time action combat and hack and slash stuff. And stuff from Warriors Returns from the original Warriors game, like just you know trying to attack, dodge, having light and heavy attack, and having stuff of a stun meter on enemies. And once you do it, you'll be able to do a special combo move that basically insta kills them. However, in Free Helps, it works a little bit different now. As such, uh, with Free hopes they give you stuff like a block, which I don't think Warriors had, except for one of your Judens that blocked for you, as well as a perfect dodge and a perfect guard. And if you perfect guard at the right time, you can parry the enemy's attack. And same goes for perfect dodge, which slows down time a little bit, I think. There's of course also stuff like adding combat arts to your weapon, which of course adds a little bit of durability. But it gives a nice variety of detail and just, you know, makes the combat more interesting. Of course, it also gives you a bit of strategic advantage of when to use it and try not to, like, you know, spend recklessly because, again, durability. There's also stuff like having different combo moves and, like, a class action, which is like one big heavy attack if you charge. And also, speaking about the stun meter. Unlike in Fire Emblem Warriors where if you deplete the enemy's stun meter they basically automatically stun, lock the enemy and finish them off. In this one, it works in similar fashion to say Stranger of Paradise or any game that has like a special meter that allows you to have the option to insta-kill enemies. Where if you deplete the enemy's stun meter you have the option to either kill them instantly of course, another thing that Fire Emblem always free hopes adds is that this also also has a little bit more strategy of what your units will do, how to attack, when to guard, which is something from Warriors, but it's a little bit more different, I would say. And of course, you get to still play as the other characters, with your max units being four playable characters. Or the others being support characters, give or take depending on the missions. As such, during my route, uh, you're basically given through a similar to a rundown to what Free Houses was, like you've been told to ask the um, leaders about who's in the house and also whether to join them or not. In any case, the other things that Fireball Warriors Free Hopes adds is something that happens at near the end chapter and that is basically the bases with the base which was like the monster in free houses you're basically given time to you know have like free time whether it's to spend items as well as the fact that you can train up uh, your characters like level them up or even change classes and max them out which is something yeah, again from Free Houses which was pretty nice and actually gives a little bit more depth to the combat as such you're given things like a training, a food, a reward system 
as well as stuff like um, getting you know items and also just you know giving gifts. Basically, a lot of things that Free Houses had are in this game, and the things that weren't in both games, both Warriors and Free Houses, are pretty much pretty neat, all things considered. Now, as such, as I said, there was a class system where you'd be able to change uh, any of your unit's class, like completely, like have different builds from Free House what Free Houses did, and it does give a very interesting layer of combat into the mix. There's also stuff like, you know, improving like the facilities, like cooking, as well as, as I said, training, and just the items. It's just, there's basically lots of things to do. Of course, there's also side quests, which basically revolve around the missions, which is, again, what Farm Boom, uh, Three houses was with the um with those I think adjutants what they're called oh yeah speaking of there's also partner specials where as from what the from the original warriors you'll be able to link up with another party member and if you do enough combos you're able to use a special awakening meter where both you and your party member do an awesome combo as well as they can be able to use to protect you and attack you in support which is pretty nice and of course other warriors elements like again the single awakening and also just able to find items in the battlefield as well as having a new thing or having even vulnerabilities equipped to your items like doing your menu like doing your convoy menu doing battle which is pretty nice I think that I don't think the I mean, I do remember having that in Warriors, but I'm glad it's also here. Now I have to say that I'm happy that this game looks very good, like a, uh, you know, presentation, artistic standpoint, it looks very good. The main cutscenes they have look fantastic. Again, this is Omega Force and Kuwait Tecmo Team Ninja. They're the ones that gave us, you know, the original fire it gave us awesome cinematics for Fire Emblem Warriors and I'm happy that they bought that for free. Houses, like it definitely has like a bit more budget than that game did, mostly. And as such, as the in-game cutscenes, actually the in-game graphics overall look fine. Not perfect mind you, I think that some are anti-aliasing. And the frame rate from my end was a bit choppy on some bits. I don't think it was doing battle, but I do think some bits look like they dipped like below 30. And from my experience, I don't think that this game had a performance mode where you can have it to 60 FPS like the original did. Even though when I tried to have it on the original Warriors, it really didn't do anything. It still dropped the frames, like so it wasn't really consistent performance mode. But then again, I think the Switch Lite is not even stronger than, it's not as strong as the original one or the OLED. But yeah, other things, well, I'm not sure I'm a fan of the whole where if I dodge, the lock-on would disengage. Like, the lock-on is used on, like, the right um, Joy-Con, and if I dodge, it would, like, cancel out. And to be honest, as much as I like all the options I have in this game, it's a bit confusing with all the buttons and you're a bit cautious on how like not to activate the wrong thing. Again, they throw a lot of stuff on you and you need to take time to process, but once you get the hang of it, it is pretty good. And yeah, some of the young combo uh, characters may start a bit slow, but I think in the original uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, all of them were like, you know, even if they were like low level, like they were already like maxed, they already felt like so powerful. Given, of course, their famous characters, of course, with the exception of the two OCs. Uh, speaking of which, I think the writing is on par with Free Houses, which is pretty good, like character writing. Like, so far, the story for what the um, uh, plot is going for, especially with the um, Golden Deer one, is pretty interesting. And now, I've always 
Obviously, having new st stuff and things that we didn't see from free houses due to obviously probably due to like you know cut content or budget restraints or being a bit rushed. So I'm glad to see some of the things that were slipping free houses and were never paid off are uh, implemented here in Free Hope. So that is pretty, pretty great. So yeah, other thing, uh, the soundtrack is banger. Like, oh my god, the soundtrack in this game is so good. Like, Fire Emblem Free Houses had an amazing soundtrack, and the original Fire Emblem Warriors had a great soundtrack. So expecting this game to have a great soundtrack was, well, I expected it all right, and it exceeded way above it like oh my god like some of the remixes of like the battle themes for free uh houses are just amazing like oh my god and even the menu theme is just so godly like oh my god basically there's a lot of stuff in this game like there's a lot to cover there was a lot of things i had to cover even though they'll probably be more in depth when the full game comes out but oh no oh no I really liked the demo, I really enjoyed my time with it, I'm very excited to see on how the other routes play once the full game comes out and I'll definitely like play all three of them to see on how the story unfolds, how oh, each, of the character will, each of the characters will play, and yeah I'm expecting to have a good time. So if you're, if you're a big fan of Fire Emblem Three Houses and you liked the original Warriors game, then give this a go if you want. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. What do you guys think of the demo for Fire Emblem Warriors Free Ops? Have you played it? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. So, punch the like, like button, drop down a comment, and click the subscribe button if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Mad Kaiser out.